Welcome, pastor, ministry leader, to this week's Mary the Vision Female. I'm Ron Yudsi. For the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you some things that I pray will lift your spirit, strengthen you in your relationship with Jesus Christ, and encourage you in fulfilling the ministry assignment that He, the Lord Jesus Christ, has entrusted to you. So today, I want to talk to you about building community in multiple spaces. It's interesting. Mental health experts and healthcare professionals have been concerned about the psychological effect that the pandemic and the unprecedented challenges that Americans have faced over the last couple of years. See, they know that they're facing economic, social, and political stress, and that this has had an impact with an increase of anxiety. As a matter of fact, 47% of people in America report experiencing anxiety regularly. That's almost one out of every two people. They've observed that these factors are contributing to an increase in addiction to alcohol and other substances. Now, these present-day challenges are having a ripple effect in the lives of people that are in our communities and probably people and families that are in your local church. Now think with me. In the midst of this chaos, there is an opportunity for the Church of Jesus Christ, your leadership pastor, and the guidance that you bring in navigating through this chaotic season is essential for your church and community. Why? Because people are looking for healthy community. They're looking for safety in chaos. God made them with such a desire. He's made all people with such a desire because people need healthy community to survive and thrive. Now, reports have come out that when people were sheltered at home, remember during those extended periods of time during COVID, while it was intended for good reason, it isolated them from interaction with others, which has proved now to have a negative impact on a large percentage of people. Interesting how the book of Hebrews reveals insights to the church's approach to this very topic, right? Hebrews 10, verse 24 and 25 speaks to us. Let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works. And let us not neglect our meeting together as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. So, what's the opportunity that's staring us in the face? Become more proactive in times of chaos to build community in multiple spaces. I'm talking in-person services, digital presence, your social media, facility use as an outreach to impact your local community. Let's take a minute and unpack these just a bit. How about your in-person gatherings? We need to value Christian interaction, gatherings, and fellowship like never before. Have safety protocols in place that allow others to feel comfortable while they're engaged in an in-person gathering. Also, put a ministry touch in place that proactively contacts people just to check in on them, to ask them, how can we pray with you? How about your digital presence? Continue to develop your online service. It wasn't something that you just did just during COVID. Reach out to people who are viewing to engage those people. Don't just use it to get them to come into the building. Touch them in real time with real responses. You could offer a PDF download. Uh, you could send them maybe a free devotional or a resource from the church if it's their first time engaging in your online uh, service. See, these people are valuable. They've chosen to tune into your digital space. So do something to touch them. How about your social media, like Facebook page or any other social media page that you have? What if we thought of our social media pages as social ministry tools, where this is providing now encouraging content, not just cute posts, right? It's providing an opportunity to gather prayer requests where we ask people, are you hurting? We'd like to pray for you. I heard of one church that did this and received 134 prayer requests from their Facebook page by asking people out just on that were their friends and people who saw it, we'd like to pray for you. 
They commented that that was more than they had ever received from filling out a card in one service. What if you use your church facility to serve your community? I want you to think with me. Your church facility could become a tool outside of services to reach into and serve your community. I heard of one church that converted their space within the church to provide laundromat services for the community for free because people needed it. I heard of another church that offered to provide child care services for a couple of hours so that couples could go out on a date and it was completely free. I heard of another church that opened up their children's rooms or their fellowship hall to families in the community so they could celebrate children's birthdays. They distributed flyers throughout the community and in the neighborhood saying, hey, the church is providing a place for children to celebrate their birthday and it's free of charge. Pastor, you and your church are positioned by God at this time to impact and reach your community. You've been, you've been set there for such a time as this. People are longing for, looking for, and needing community for their welfare. There is an opportunity that's at our doorstep. Let's become more proactive in building community in multiple spaces. I only shared a few here today. The Holy Spirit is our helper, and he will give you creative ideas on what to do and then the when and how to do it. This is our season to step up, reset, and press through to seize the God opportunity that's in front of us. Ministry leaders, pastors, I know that you can do this, and I am committed to help you. Now, if this has been insightful and encouraging to you, would you please share it with another pastor? Maybe forward this email to them, uh, to another ministry leader. Invite them to join our weekly emails by going to marythevision.com, just like you did, and sign up for this weekly email. I need your help. Pastor, ministry leader, would you help me reach across the table to another leader and around the world because we're not limited geographically. All they need is internet access because I'm seeking to support pastors in fulfilling their ministry assignment. I know they're praying for this and that's what my assignment is, to serve them. So until next week, this is Ron Yutzen. I'm committed to your ministry success in Jesus Christ. <laughs>